Hello everyone, my name is Vegard Christofferson and I uh, am a Heroes of Might Magic 3 speedrunner from Norway. Um, today I'd just like to talk with you guys um, a little bit about my run here. Uh, I did a run in uh, Heroes of Might Magic 3, the latest expansion that's uh, released in 2000 uh, called The Shadow of Death. Uh, I'm going to do the first scenario that is from the new beginning, uh, which is called Clearing the Border. And since there was a little bit loud in-game sound on top of the um, uh, recording here, I'd just like to give a little bit of my thoughts about what kind of game I think Heroes of Might Magic 3 brings to the table in in terms of speedrunning in the speedrunning community. As well as if I think this is a entertainment game to watch slash play and if I think this game has any potential as a candidate uh, mainly for the AGDQ event which I am um, I would really like to contribute to uh, give something um, to the table as I say, I would like to contribute and to, uh, well, submit a suggestion. Uh, and I would like in the best possible manner to present this game that I love from my childhood. That isn't really that popular online. It's not that really pop- it's not really that popular. popular. Um, it's becoming very popular right now in these t uh, times but I'll just like to talk to you guys about what what about this game I really like so first as you can see I'm I'm trying to uh, in Heroes 3 your your objective uh, usually it's to kill the other player uh, with what you have, you have to build an army and you have to uh, uh, go and explore the adventure map with your hero. Uh, you can have eight heroes on the adventure map at the same time. Uh, you're allowed to use magic on the map. Uh, this is a very old game from 1999. Uh, I'm using a HD mod. mod which makes the um, resolution fit to uh, modern screens because we used to have like very... was it 4.3 monitors? I might be wrong here, but now we have widescreen and people want to see this game work on, you know, not the Windows 98 anymore, but the Windows 10 and other operative systems that are modern. Um, yeah, there uh, there have been some contestants uh, from Poland uh, within the speedrunning community. I'm specifically talking about speedrun.com, uh, which have a leaderboard in Heroes 3, as well as the unofficial expansion called Horn of the Abyss. Thanks to a very nice moderator, which I talked to online a few days ago. Uh, called Adam, um, with a, uh, the nickname is a bit longer, but I will uh, call him Adam for now. So I thank Adam to, for looking at my messages and having a nice conversation. Um, I am uh, thinking, <laughs> what more to say? Well, well I First of all, I created this um, this HUD, um, the drawing down to the left. That's mine. I've, I draw Adelaine, a dendroid soldier from the Rampart faction, which I'm playing this game, as well as a Tome of Water uh, down to the left there. As well as on the top right, you can see the <laughs> at, uh, the, the game cover, the original Restoration of Arathia game cover, uh, drawn in uh, GIMP. <laughs> I didn't actually use um, 
drawing mat, I I used uh, I used pen and paper. Uh, I mean, I used the mouse. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, I think this game is entertaining to watch, and I think it would be because there are a lot of factors that can bring this game up. I mean, of course. You know, Mario 64 is a super popular game to speedrun on, um, and a, a lot of people are watching it. And um, it's because it has something interesting to offer, you know. Will you be able to collect those red coins? There are some RNG factors there, mostly it's consistency. Uh, when it comes to this game, I would say there are a lot of optimization to be done. Uh, I haven't come that far, that's why I want the community to grow. But as you can see in this run, I stumble upon stuff that I haven't uh, been able to stumble upon previously. Uh, usually I'm supposed to clear out the three necromancer towns in the north. But, which I, which you will soon discover here, uh, the necromancers or the red AI, which I have to defeat in order to clear this scenario, have captured another town, which is a bit farther south. Usually I haven't really experienced it that they have, but this time they did. So this is one of the four um, scenarios that's in the... there. As you can see on the left there, I'm, cl I'm doing the clear, clearing the border here. We also have the after the amulet, retrieving the cowl, as well as driving for the boots. There are quite big maps. This is the smallest map because the campaign kind of starts off easy. Um, in this run, I actually did an attempt to clear out the clear the after the amulet, but I wasn't able to. So that's why I kind of went into the video editor to just clip out just this, um, you know, this part, so I can actually show you some consistency of it. And my plans is to clear out um, the after the amulet and after after a while, you know. Um, well, that's some of the things that I talk about um, in this uh, game. So here I'm trying to like find out where he came from. And obviously I want to get back at him and to find out where they are coming from. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I use around 9 minutes on this run. Uh, the best, My best time is around 5 minutes. So that's about the estimate of a time that I use. Um, I'm trying to think about all the... Um, kind of recommendations or all the criterias that one needs in order for this game to be submitted to a GDQ. Because I have read it, and uh, one of the um, yeah, personally, I have uh, seen a lot of runners do this run on YouTube, and there have been a lot of submissions in the last uh, five years. But I haven't seen really a lot of optimization, and I haven't seen a lot of activity and talking about how to optimize these runs. I only see some people like they do the Spoils of War campaign, the Long Live the Queen campaign from the Restoration of Arathia, and also Dungeons and Devils. Those three are the th three first campaigns and the most common ones you see being speed speedrun. But I like to uh, emphasize on this one as well as the Catherine's Charge in the um, uh, the, that's one from the Armageddon's Blade campaign. That's around 15 minutes long and I've also submitted this to AGDQ, the committee. Hopefully you guys will look at it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. That's good. And we are on the next campaign. This is after the amulet. I'm going to choose the wood here.